Hi everybody and thanks for tuning in. Today's video is all about the Marconi Club and Fairfield Showgrounds, two venues that are located in Sydney, Australia. Now I'll start with Fairfield Showgrounds. Usually it's mostly used as like the markets or the Oktoberfest which was held there every year. Um, I think the local Assyrian communities have events there now. <laughs> the Fairfield City Council must have approved this fantastic concert. Uh, they were actually led by our Mayor Janice Crozio at the time. What a great lady she was. And uh, the lineup was ACDC, uh, Hush, Sebastian Hardy and Finch. Absolutely fantastic. Now I do have a photo where there's only one photo I could find of ACDC and in this particular photo, it's kind of special because you can see George Young, who is the brother of Angus and Malcolm, who was in the legendary Easy Beats band. And you can see him um, pictured with his bass. So it was true, obviously, that a, a few times in the early days, he did fill in when, you know, they needed a bass player. So um, it wasn't just 1975. There were other concerts there and one particular one in 1970. Uh, nine was called A Day in the Sun. Uh, I believe the stage was moved under cover because of the, the inclement weather at the time and entry was four dollars. It started at 11 o'clock and the lineup for this one was Cold Chisel, The Sports, Jojo Zepp, uh, The Radiators, Mental as Anything, The Hitmen and The Aliens. So I've got a couple of photos that I, I can put up from that event. Bob King again comes up with the goods, legendary photographer. Uh, I've been able to get some pictures. Now the one that you might see of the radiators wasn't at Fairfield Showgrounds. I think it was at the Granville one, but you can kind of see what it would have looked like. So yeah, regarding the memories, I haven't really been able to find a, a lot. Um, however, there was a guy called James Young who he actually recalls going to his first Oktoberfest. It was, um, yeah, around about 1971, because I've been able to find a picture. And what he remembers is seeing two guys getting tossed off a merry-go-round. And shortly afterwards, he saw them playing guitars and the band was called Velvet Underground. Uh, he reckons it was Angus and Malcolm, but yeah, I'm not sure if Angus was there, but Malcolm definitely was there because he was in the band Velvet Underground, the Australian Velvet Underground, up until I think 1972. Um, so yeah, from the archives of the Fairfield and Cabramatta newspapers, I've been able to dig up this fantastic photo um, of Velvet Underground. As well, I saw it on a Ted Mulry um, fan page on Facebook. So that was interesting. Um, another memory from a person called Sully. Apparently uh, he was she or she was too young to drive. So uh, they got um, his mate's uh, mother to drive them in. Uh, he remembers that it was midweek and um, he reckons that the best view that day was up on the bookie stand. Because I think the showgrounds had the trots just sort of, you know, surrounding it or something. And he just remembers that the show was under the grandstand. Stop wanting you Can't stop needing you Jerry, you see the gato? Huh? You see the cat? Yes, Jerry, gato. Huh? Where's the putty cat? 
Harry <laughs> Putty Cat. This is the old stand, is it? All oh, right. So who knows where they played? Maybe they played over there. That's where the racing track was. That's where the harness. I don't know. The, I think that's where the harness. You know the the chariots used to ride. Maybe this is where where the audience was and the stage was over there. Who knows? I think that's the new section over there. That's the old section. Well, you made a bet, Jerry. Hmm? You want some scorched peanuts? Let's go. Can't stop wanting you. Oh, Jerry. Can't stop See, Gato. Where's the Gato? Where's the booty cat? girl called Bridget and she recalls seeing them there that day she remembers that it rained and she also remembers talking to them under the shelters Jenny Barclay she's got um, some great memories of this concert and in fact I've been able to find a photo of Jenny and Malcolm um, just yeah you know at the concert looks fantastic um, Dave Tice Dave Tice from Buffalo he actually recalls playing at Fairfield Showgrounds. Um, it would have been a, a different time, but he does recall playing here when John Baxter was guitarist. He recalls Madame Lash joining them on stage and she was dressed in hot leather pants, a peekaboo leather bra. Apparently she cracked a whip, she handcuffed him to her hot pants and she was screaming unintelligible noises into the microphone. And he said it was quite an experience for a young naive singer like him. How fantastic. So that's kind of it about Fairfield. Um, now, as I said, I haven't really been able to find much. Uh, there was another concert held at Warwick Farm, which was the similar kind of you know event. However, on that bill, it was the same year, 1975, on that bill they had ACDC, Sebastian Hardy, uh, Old 55, Finch, Shoot, and the Richard Clapton Band. Now there's a girl called Sandra, she recalls, she was 15 at the time, and she remembers that it was a really small crowd in attendance, and she sat in front row with her sisters and friends. She did get quite a lot of autographs that day, and she regrets not getting Bon Scott's. Uh, a, a bloke called Tony, he was there, he was 19 years old, he went there with his cousins. He also recalls a small crowd, but he said they were really into the music. He mentioned that ACDC were raw, loud and raunchy and he said Bon and Angus were just, you know, ferocious and very talented. He remembers them singing songs like The Jack and Baby Please Don't Go and he said that, um, yeah, they just kind of rocked the grandstand down and he sat in the front row of the, the area there. So how fantastic, you know, what great memories for them. Uh, I did see in a Ram magazine article where Gra uh, Anthony O'Grady in 1976 mentioned that the gig, this particular gig wasn't a promoter's delight because it was soaking showers. There were about 800 punters there all huddled inside, you know, a roof stand. And um, also I read somewhere that Bon Scott apparently said to the audience that he had uh, a little trick and he uh, took out his recorder so that was obviously when he had to play a particular song and I think that might have been the song where you needed um, the bagpipes I'm not sure actually Um, yeah, anyway, so halfway through this particular concert, it was getting into late afternoon and apparently the ACDC was stumbling around on, um, on stage. They were finishing their bracket in complete darkness and I don't think Ang Angus was too impressed with that. So that's memories of uh, Fairfield Showgrounds and a little bit of the Warwick Farm one. So again, I haven't really been able to get many photos. It was a long time ago. It was 1975. 
The other concerts were late 70s and yeah, unfortunately there isn't really a lot available even in newspapers and media because not a lot has been digitised. The only really magazine that I have noticed has been uh, digitised is Roadrunner, whereas Ram, uh, Go Set and Duke, where I might have been able to get some information, yeah, you've just got to be lucky to have sort of held on to those magazines. Yeah. 